Hello and welcome back to Shadows of Doubt. Um, things are going to be a little bit different. I actually ran into quite a lot of kind of game breaking problems um, while I attempted to record a second episode. And so I had to unfortunately start an entirely new game <laughs> and uh, and uh, work from scratch. But I've got a save now. Um, that's just me not saving again. Um, and apparently we've got new leads this time. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check the diner. I tried to check the diner last time and, and did run into problems, but I, I kind of want to learn how to, uh, you know, navigate this game a little bit better. So um, that's that's what we're gonna do. So what we're gonna do is we'll, we're gonna, oh, are you, why are you holding out a gun? My dude, What what is your deal? Give me your crows if you want to live pay them oh okay nice doing business with you sucker cool um what a jerk wow cool um wish i could sneak up on them and grab their prints so our uh, our uh board looks a little bit different um just out of convenience i've got i got a couple more clues i, I made a note of the address and the number of violet um from our dress book just to just to be a little bit more um proactive and uh, so we want to look for where we're cold hence the shaking we need to get to um indigo indigo hair hair kitchen let's check this out uh check that out and indigo hair kitchen and then we'll plot a route and head over i also i accident i don't know how this happened but what was go while i was going through the duct i broke my leg so that was a little strange and so i had to figure out how to repair my leg which isn't too bad yes yes i know um i did this in my second record or my, my second episode first attempt here um but we'll go through it Basically, we're going to want to pay for a guest pass so that we have a little bit more privilege. Um, health inspector needs survey to survey the premises. Still going to need a guest pass to take a look around. Bribe staff for access optional. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, your guest pass will be active for two hours. Now, I think uh, the mistake I made when I tried to record is um, we're going to gr grab that. We want to make a note. And we'll go ahead and um, put all of this down here next to um, this is this is our we're following the lead of the indigo hair kitchen where uh, undoubtedly our Oni Johnson uh, bought a burger of some kind or met someone that is really the the main the the, the relevant information is that they were here um, we got a key we got a pick but I think the thing I made the mistake I made is I, I took a bit too long um, while uh, I, I was kind of dirtling with a computer. There's a computer that we want to access here that has uh, access to the CCTV cameras. I'm just going to pick up all the hairpins. They really don't mind if you do this. It's nothing to them. But, you know, having extra lock picks, it's great. Not having to worry about having... Uh, you, you never have too many lock picks. Oh, we have a, a public telephone here. I did not know that. Apartment for sale, job listing, job listing. Nice. So now we want to... Oh, that's the alarm switch. We want to get in here. So we know this is $12.99. Because we just got that passcode. Um... Now, I'm pretty sure we can access the admin, the admin's computer, and I think the code is the same as, you know, getting in here. Just to save us a code breaker. We do have two of those now, by the way. Indigo here, admin, we'll try it, 12, whoops, 12.99, there we go, very good. Surveillance. And what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna check the cameras around the same time uh, that the um, as a receipt mentions, right? So this says twelve 
58 on a Monday, January 2nd. 12.58. So we want to click on Monday. You can almost treat this like a tutorial um, myself because like I know um, not all of this is super obvious. The tutorial in this game is good. I like the tutorial. I think it works very well. Um, but certain UI things are not necessarily super obvious. So I'm very bad at remembering uh, times. 22.58. So we want to find that, um, that time. So we're going to go back in time here to 2258 on Monday. So this is as close as we can. And there's our Oni Johnson right there. That's Oni, but who are they with? And we can see they're flagged. Like we can see their face there. And we can see that they're, so they're with someone. So let's go ahead and print this out. This is important. And I, I'll put this near the, uh, this is all to do with Indigo Hair Kitchen down here. Um, I don't think there's anything else. Oh, we can, we can sort of see where they are. So that's after they met, they, they kind of parted ways. Just want to make sure, like, now that we have a, a, um, a record of, like, who this person is, we can, we can see them. We could follow them around. These are all staff members. These are, are known to the database that we're looking at because they're relevant to um, the workplace. So that's why we have their names and not anyone's. For some reason we have Oni Johnson's, but I guess that's because we know who they are. All right, so I think we've got pretty much whatever we can from this. We could go through the employee database. Oh, no, we can't. There's no point in going through that. Um, I wonder if we can get, uh, use this keypad. Oh, $12.99. Yeah, apparently we can. Diamond perfume commemorative baseball paper stack. Okay, we can't look at that paper stack. Well, apparently we can look at that. Um, but we want to leave now, I think. Sabotaging. What? I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's uh let's leave real quick just to just to flush that bill that we were accruing um you can also check out footprints in this game it's not as reliable in terms of like it, it's not good for evidence but it is good for checking out where certain people were um open the breaker box at indigo hair kitchen and disable security by using the lever optional Oni Johnson is sitting with somebody. Open an, an evidence window by inspecting their mug shot. What? That's a weird one. Open an evidence window by inspecting their mug shot. I think I gotta go back in here. All right, let's uh, go to surveillance, back to surveillance. We should be pretty much where we want to be. No, we're not. Okay, Monday. There they are. Click, inspect. There we go. That's what we want. So we wanted a mug shot. Uh, apparently there is another person there as well. I'm not sure if that is someone we care about, though. Could have been just a customer. I think they're sitting alone, so I don't think it matters too much. Okay, let's, uh, let's get out of here now. I think we can go this way. Yeah, we can go out through the back door. We don't have to go through the front door again. Oni Johnson is sitting with somebody. Open an evidence window by inspecting their mugshot. 
I thought I did that. Did we not do that? Okay, well, that's fine. We have something. We don't, we don't really have anything. We know what they look like. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. There's a lot of things I'm not meaning to do. Oh, it's just directing me to, to sabotage the security if I want to. So we can go back in. I, I'm so, the thing that went poorly is I, I sometimes find the security is very trigger happy in the restaurant and then it's just like there's nothing you can do about it it's just on forever so we could check for fingerprints here if we could possibly find um oni johnson's there it is we got oni johnson's on this crumpled piece of paper we can inspect it Starting soon in Charlotte Heights, anonymous support group. Come and share the load. Indigo Hair Kitchen. Wednesday evening. Share the load. Go to this, Oni. You'll feel better for it. Tell them Kira Simmons sent you. So, um, can we assume that this is Kira Simmons? Um, let's, let's assume that for a moment. Let's give it a yellow uh, link to make... That, that's my indication for not sure. Could be. All right. Get rid of this. Just have a double... Okay, so Kira Simmons. So we don't know who that is. But we'll go ahead and... Um, put it there. And we might as well, if we can get another uh, fingerprint, this could be Kira Simmons. So we're building a case around Kira Simmons here. Who is this Kira? Whoever they are, they seem mixed up in some bad business. There could be a type D here. Let's put type D down here. These are potential uh, fingerprints from Kira Simmons. This is an E. Yeah, that's an E. Well, see, this is the problem with gathering evidence at, like, a very uh, high-traffic area here, is that these could be anyone. So, not super helpful. So, we could find Kira Simmons. We got a full name. A, a name is a very powerful thing, as I say. So we could go in the look in the um, directory. Find Kira Simmons. There's Kira Simmons right there. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and create a link. And actually, I mean, let's let's just like put this over here for now. Um, and we'll plot a route. Find Kira Simmons. Oh, we got a lead. This is, it's all about following up on leads. And you know, you can play this game in your own pace, uh, but there is kind of a time limit. So let me talk about that. I haven't really mentioned that at all, but um, you know, o Oni Johnson was killed by someone and uh, spoilers, but they might actually be a serial killer. Like they may kill again, um, you know, they're known to kill. And uh, so something you want to be aware of is if, if you're not fast enough, you could, you know, catch them too late and uh that might mean someone else would die some some other poor innocent person you know let's just have a quick look at the doormat there is a key under the doormat uh but we don't necessarily someone is answering the door so we know they're in one thing i like about knocking in this game is if you knock more it'll lock it'll knock louder So this is not, this is maybe Kira Simmons? Evening, what's your name? My name's Kira Simmons. Oh, they, they gave it to us willingly. So we have, we know Kira Simmons now. Um, okay, first of all, warn Kira Simmons about the killer. Oni is dead. I knew something bad was gonna happen. You have to help. 
Oni mentioned someone called Violet Diaz. I think Violet's a hired killer. I once saw them at that place, Jade King Lounge. You have to stop them before they... What? Why did it bring up the case? Um, so here's... Violet is their potential killer. Okay, it brought this up because of the Jade um, King Lounge. So we want to follow up on this. Was seen at with Oni. We'll make this a point of information. This is getting out of hand very quickly. Oh, we might want to make folders later. You have to stop them before they come for me. Here's 200 crows that Oni left me. Pick up the sync disc in the mailbox. Also, there's a sync disc in my mailbox from Oni. Take it. I don't want it. We have to find Violet Diaz. Good luck. Okay, the, the mailbox is downstairs. So that's actually new. I've never encountered that one before. I'm hoping that this will kind of tutorialize the sync discs because I would like to experience what those kind of upgrades look like. Um, is it 402? Hold on, let me just double check here. Yeah, 402 Novak House. So who is this guy? I thought this was going to be Kira Simmons, but no. Sync disc. My inventory is full. Um, I already have a sync disc. I'm going to get rid of the handcuffs. We could always come back for them. We know where they are. <laughs> All right, so we have to investigate um, Violet Diaz. But I would like to, just really quickly, maybe look into uh, how to use sync disks every damn night. Oh, sync clinic, perfect. Use a bed or chamber to install or uninstall sync disks. Install. Okay, so increase maximum health by 20%, increase inventory space by one. Oh, that would be so good. Um, so I guess this is the, oh, I say or. Yeah, I would prefer to increase inventory capacity. I've been running into inventory problems by quite a lot. What is this? Upgrade. Fortitude or... Okay. Upgrade. Install. Are you sure you want to install the sync disk configuration? Once installed, the configuration cannot be changed without reinstalling another sync disk of the same type. Yes. Increase inventory capacity by one. Yes. So I apparently upgraded it. I think that means I used both disks. Ooh, shiny. So it's the first time we've I have ever in Oh, look at that. Look at how many spaces we have. Oh, that's so nice. More more space for tools and toys. And evidence. Okay. Um now that that is done, well, let's follow up on this lead. Um, all right, so Kira Simmons, we already checked that off. We could pro I, w I wish there was maybe a bit more things we could do to mark the map. Select no case, select sticky note. We could just like put that somewhere. Like we can, I think we can write off Kira Simmons as the killer, right? That makes sense. So let's go check check out the Jade King Lounge. Oh, I think I just undid that. Okay, let's uh, head off. I like that the streets are named. Like, they, there really is a, a huge amount of attention to detail in this game, which I, I, I really love. And 
it's locked. Uh, hmm. So this place is maybe a bit seedier than I thought. We could try the back. Yeah, this is the Jade King, uh, King Lounge. Hmm. Let's, uh, okay, it needs a keypad. Wait, this is the CCTV part. Is this also, no, this is Stubbs Deluxe Ground Floor Lobby. All right, you know what? Um, I don't I think I'm relatively safe here. Why don't we use one of our code breakers males will use these right? Place code breaker right, So it's just like hard breaking the code going through every single possible combination These things are one-time use by the way 907 Okay Lots of security here Should be able to open this as well Is it 9007? Uh, oh, yes um, Diamond, paper stack, commemorative baseball, lipstick F, F, F. Not, not seeing anything of value here. G, these are all people we don't know. We have no information on any of them. Oh, there's one more. You never know on the off chance. I, I guess we don't know if any of these are Violet, so I don't think we have any potential information on Violet yet. We have a note. Remember your passcode this time. 9007. We already knew that. Code for your office. 9007. Oh, I didn't mean it. I always turn it off by accident. And the worst part about that is that it was already logged in. <laughs> so now I'm going to have to log in. But it should be 9007. There you go. Okay, employee database. Um, we could try and look for Violet. No? Um, V-mail. How about that? Welcome to Dove. I'm sorry. Let's just look for anyone of Violet. Fair quotes daily. Request your help. Nothing. Sync disk offer special. No. Um, so let's look at surveillance. We'll get some information about who works here. Bar ground. I mean, we could look around Monday. We don't know when they were spotted. But we know that Oni Johnson was spotted in this bar. So we can just like look through this real quick. Not really seeing anyone. These are all people that work here. I'm just trying to find... We're seeing a lot of this guy. They, they, they are probably the Adam bar staff. Unknown citizen. Just trying to find Oni Johnson. Apparently they work, or they don't work here, but um, they were seen here. Kitchen grounds. It makes sense that they would not have been seen in the kitchen grounds. But I'm not seeing them anywhere else. I'm not seeing Oni Johnson here. At all.
Uh oh. I'm so visible here. Why don't we just, um, go through here? Okay, they might see me. We might be opening the bar. Oh god. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing at this point. I guess I'm trying to get all the info on who works here So far we don't have any information. We don't even have proof that Oni was here I'm still trying to find that Twenty two thirty eight on Monday I guess, okay, you know what? This surveillance camera only has a 24 hour record, right? So we're not gonna see that because they, they were, just because they were seen here doesn't mean they were seen here in the last 24 hours. So what if we, can we find out when they were seen here? No. Sales records apparently are, are pretty shallow as well. Okay. Well, um, let's profile Brianna. Brio Brionia. I don't think we're going to get anything from this computer, unfortunately. But the, you know, one thing we did get from it is that we have nothing. Pistol am ammunition. Eight millimeter pistol ammunition. Now, I did uh, one extra information, piece of information I got from uh, Oni's apartment this time was expended 8mm cartridge. So we know that it was an 8mm um, pistol. But, you know, it's a common enough ammo type. It doesn't really mean anything. Certainly it's not proof. So why don't we try entering through the front door, officially, and uh, talk to the owner. No? Hmm. Well, okay. Let's, uh, let's come back to this. Here's the thing. Um, we have a potential confirmed uh, apartment for for uh, this violet right um, They said that uh, we were we were he was seen with someone I thought we got their full name But I'm not sure oh yeah Viola Viola Diaz isn't it so let's just have a quick look here All right why don't we check out their apartment? It's a good good enough place since they're our lead suspect right now. Why don't we check out where they live and see if we can't find some proof. Something that would lead us to, to believe that they killed Oni. 12th floor. All right, let's go up to the 12th floor. Oh. 
Violet Diaz. Use the city directory to find them. I mean, yeah, there is that. We know the person's full name. So I guess we should uh, find a public address book. But this is a good enough lead for now. Actually, sorry, sorry to keep opening this up, but I should check. Did this have Violet D or just Violet? I think it had just Violet. All right. Well, I mean, the first thing to find out is uh, if this is Violet Diaz. I don't think there's going to be more than one Violet. Stubbs Deluxe. Somebody is coming to answer the door. Okay, we, we don't know who this is. They do look angry though. Uh, evening, what's your name? Sorry, that's personal. I'll give you money for your name. Nothing to do with you. Okay. Um, have you heard or seen anything unusual? Nothing. Nothing to do with you. <laughs> Do you know this person? Sorry, that's personal. Okay, well, they're not gonna give me anything. We do, we do know that they're indoors though. They're inside their apartment. And I don't know if there is a um, vent that could go in. We could try like breaking in at some point. I'm not, I wonder if we're hungry. We could buy some food at some point. Well, uh, honestly, that was largely unhelpful. Um, why don't we try and confirm if this is the Violet Diaz that we're looking for? The next thing we could do is um, try and track their pattern, like actually trail them, like kind of wait and trail them while they and see what they do. That's like kind of a. Um, our last resort, though. So I would like to find a um, public directory. There's usually telephone booths around. I wonder if there's one in... No. Uh, if we go into a restaurant, they might have some there. Yeah, they have one here. Okay. Um, Violet Diaz. Okay, so we yeah, confirmed it is the same person that uh, Oni knew. I mean, that, that was obvious, of course. Um, next thing I guess we could find out is, uh, their, their telephone number, right? Uh, Diaz. Does this have her telephone number? Doesn't seem to. I thought it was a directory. So it tells us, <laughs> what a weird system. Um, so we, we have, we know where they live, but we don't know their phone number. I guess, you know, we, are, we have a we have a public number here. You know what we could do? Let's um call that the last number. That was uh that Oni called. I don't seem to be answering. Uh, a lot of leads that are not really going anywhere right now. We could go back to the Jade. But, like, I'm not sure to what end. Jade King Lounge, location Stubbs Deluxe. What does this resolve? Oh, we have to find out 
What is the full name of the killer? Uh, we could put in... We could just guess, like, Violet Diaz. So, like, wait, did this say select? I've never actually submitted a form. I should save. We've got, we've got some pretty good information. Select. Oh, I see. So we can just like select from one of our suspects. That's a, that's an interesting way of doing that. Um, but no, we want, we want to continue building a case. We are running into the end of this episode, unfortunately. And I haven't really made much ground. We've made some. This place is odd. It never seen. I guess it's open at nighttime. But like, I really don't know what I can gain from this place. I didn't mean to. Do I keep arming it when I mean to not arm it. We're back to this. I wonder, there is Larson. We could check Larson out. What about security? Is there any security alarms? I don't think that that's actually helpful. I'm just wondering if we could maybe get a profile on the person we just talked to. I honestly think that the best thing we can do right now is just kind of like keep an eye on Violet Diaz and see if we can um, spot a vulnerability. Like try and uh, get into their apartment. So um, why don't we try and do that and uh, we'll, we'll continue in that regard uh, on the next episode. We could also check their mail. It's an interesting idea. They're at, uh, what floor? 1202? Um, how do I check the number? These don't seem to be labeled at all. Which is a bizarre way of doing things. Hmm. Oh, here we go. 12, where is 12? 14, 15. 12, oh, two. There's like no organization to this at all. 12, oh, two, deluxe mailbox. So it's that middle bottom. Just um, checking security right now. I don't see any cameras. And I don't see anyone around right now, so let's go ahead and do this. Shoot. Worst timing ever. Hello. Nothing to see here. Don't worry about me. The nice thing is, like, you, you gain ground with lockpicking. It's, you don't have to do it all at once. Really? There's no mail, huh? Damn. Wonder what time it is right now. It is seven o'clock in the morning. I wonder if they have a job. If they have a job, then we can wait for them to go to their job. So uh, I guess what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll just kind of, you know, wait. 
Oh, pass time. That's an interesting idea. Set an alarm. Wait. Huh. Huh, okay. So we could wait till like 7 o'clock or 7.30. Um, so what I'll do is I'll start the next episode when Violet Diaz or whoever is in there um, leaves their apartment. And uh, we'll see what we can see inside their apartment. First, you know, if we can find a gun, for instance, that would be a good, good start. Um, but either way, if you're enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.